Welcome everybody to the second series we're going to do with our gang to GM educational wise for all the supports uh, we're going to do Moira and I'm going to go step by step and try to explain everything that uh, I will do in order to reach GM it's going to be educational the reason why I want you to learn Moira right now is support meta is going to change drastically 2 to 2 has been introduced and the more heroes you know to play properly the more value you're going to get out of them so Let's get this started. Losing doesn't make fun, everyone knows. This is why I'm doing an rank to GM, Sandro, with support. So you can see that no matter what you play, as long as you're passionate about it, you understand the hero limits and the strengths, you can carry cool. up until GM with whatever you want to play. It doesn't matter what's strong. Of course, you can play easier characters and you can play OP characters, such as Lumpfist right now. But this is what I'm saying. If you play perfectly, and you can get away playing perfectly, can get higher sag. Don't behind. See, don't face fades. Wait, there's so. With the grapples up, I turn my face around to make my hitbox slog. He's anti. Can heal him. You are anti, my friend. See? Like, look, Pepe got tank. Dude, healing! What, what the fuck do you want me to do? You want me to cancel the effect of the purple? I'm playing from here because Widow can grapple on top. He can can shoot me through the shield to this with. Look, I throw a damage herb. Guys, go through so you're safe here. If you want to heal from a broken spot. See? I want I wanna show you something with that. Remind me to show you Sigma Wolf 141 after. Anna has nano? Yeah she has. Press tap to see if Anna has nano. If she doesn't have nano, I let her heal up. She has nano, so I don't give a fuck. They have Ana Bop, we have a lot of ultimates, we have Nano, going to wait over here. Maybe here a Widow Grapple or some shit. We have the advantage, don't wanna be fancy. Picking on top, Ash is on top as well, Ash might look here. Going to rotate to the right side. They have only one more team fight, and I can take care of them over there. I'm gonna play very safe, get away with this. In case they wanna contest me, I can just go behind point. Widow's Grapple, going to wait for them to walk in. We just press Q and we should win. Here's Nano. Doomfist goes through. Ana no cooldowns. Perfect. Ana come to me. Going to be forced to use this. And to get the Widow. Full DPS Moira. Same wall will fuck the healing. Nice. Nice hold. Maybe the amount of APM you have, you know, as in how fast can you type. Maybe do typewriting tests. Maybe that also. Like increase your physical speed, so to say, when you do things. The fuck is all I'm doing? Anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad, my bad. Fuck. I faded, but... Nah! Literally got tracked very easily. Hold up, what the fuck are you doing? You're about to fall from the bed. Perhaps a new methodology is required. I mean, should we do a like, high ground left? Just to control the high ground for going in? We did that the first thing, it's stuck in that uh, stairwell. They're holding up there. We feel battle with the other side of the way. We definitely want to take the east. Just for three points. I need my call. Time to dodge Hanzo shots using the wall to dodge, so focus on getting call. Yeah. 
I'm low and just go take the mega. That was the most useless damage drop I've ever gone in my life. Did they use immortality? Okay, both point, both point. Can you pull them point? One forty one, hi child, let me show you. One forty one. Somebody asked me when I played this on my main as well. Why don't I Um Why don't I fade ugly in Sigma's ultimate? Look at this. I'm going to show you Sigma's perspective. So you wanna fade in the last second possible, if possible. Lifts you up. And then you force him to shoot you here. Instead, he could shoot somebody else, you know, instead of me over here. I'm trying to, like, take his attention from me. Because then I can just fade out. You know? Like, a lot of people just, the second they, go, they get lifted up, they fade instantly. But I won't die from this. Like, I know I won't die. So I get lifted up? Yeah, bro. Wait. Yeah, bro. Okay, bro. Hit me, bro. 150 damage. Hit me, nice, 44, healing orb, fade out. Instead of maybe trying to hit the Symmetra. Now let's look on attack. It was an odd fight. It was an odd fight as well. Why did I take this angle? So. Let's play normal speed. Ask for immortality to be forced, because then they will panic when they will all get low, probably, when I'm going to ult. We have Bob for insane damage and Moira's ultimate as well. Why I took this angle? To cross fire. I will shoot from here or from here. Bob will shoot from here and Ash from here as well. So, Bob is going in. Totally in the opposite side where I wanted him to go. I thought they would Bob the payload. Anyway. My intention was for Bob to hit from here and me to hit from here. But we adapt on the spot. I drop over here. Try to destroy the bongo. Then recognize that Bob is here. From what I remember, I was shook that Bob was here. So I kite to the right side. And see how many... Like with Moira, you try to align as many things as possible with your ultimate. This side, I think this is quite common sense. But if possible, try to get an angle to align as many things as possible. Like for example here... I align Sigma's ultimate, Bob, uh, Orisa's ultimate, Sigma, Baptiste, Bob, and my Orisa. You know? Like, I'm trying to get so many things second to this. Also, mechanically speaking, recognizing what's happening. When I was ulting, I check my ult meter. So, I hear Sigma's ultimate. And now I think, if I'm in Sigma's ultimate, wait, let me let me close the volume. If, fuck, dude, where the fuck am I? Okay, if I am in Sigma's ultimate with this much time, will the effect of the ultimate fade when Sigma's ultimate will drop me down? The answer for me was yes. In case it was no. I would have kited outside. I had time to go all the way in the back from the beginning. But right now, I'm, I want the Sigma to ult me instead of somebody else. So that Sigma can try to tap me, rock me on the ground, try to kill me through my healing, so to say, while I'm ulting. So I'm like, look, like, look I walk back a bit and then I go like, you know what? Fuck it. Lift me up. Lift me up in Orisa. Okay? Lift me up in Bob. Look at my charge. Right at the end. Sigma's quite low. Right when he wants to drop me, fade back into cafe. Maybe Sigma, if I wouldn't been out of here, maybe Sigma, Sigma would have turned around and tried to look for an ultimate mid. Like it's all 
is, is, you remember the discussion we had, you know, as in forcing enemy abilities and ultimates? I did the same thing. I, like, I, I forced the enemy Sigma to do what I wanted, to ult. To ult me and get zero value out of it. And chat, I'm in voice, six people in voice, going to stay behind Ogisa. I found you. She goes there, I go here, look for an ugly damage rip. They have Hog, so careful about his hook. When the pull comes through, like they're going to pull, try and pull above. I'm going to try to like get, use the fade to get away from Hog. We have a pick. We can go to it to point. I'm going to touch point, Orisa should be fine. Playing from here, who comes through, try to hook somebody on high ground. Playing behind. Nobody else to shoot, just sucking the shield over there. I want to kill the Orisa fast, so I'm holding right click instead of tapping it. Using Skull Wheel. Hans is on top alone. Doomfist is on him. Got him, so saving my um, saving my damage rib over there. He put somewhere left side. To a damage rib in, 50% in, on ultimate. Seal them up. Like, literally I'm moving. When I have warp, damage rib, and the enemy team is regrouping, I don't have ultimate, I'm looking to throw a damage rib in to get extra ult charge. If I don't have damage rib, I don't want to get hooked or caught off by the enemy, so I'm just staying behind the It's so first game, so... I want to be more cautious. Now there's no hook, there's no shield I'm in, so I needed to be aware of the hook. Kill up the Doomfist. They have called because the enemy took a lot of damage. They have hook, so I'm playing behind Ogisa. Three seconds, I'm going to wait, going to wait, 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 wait. Go this, damage orb, and now do this. Focus the Reaper, Reaper used it. Need to kill the Reaper over here. Dodge the hook, as you see, like, I'm watching in front. Oh, right side, he's resetting though. Like, I'm ulting in front, but the corner of my eye is watching left side and right side as well. So I was aware of where the hook was, trying to dodge the hook. The important thing there, I'm going to check in the review, is how I waited for my orb to be up when the enemy got a pick. I, like, I waited four seconds before I would throw an orb and ultimate instead of ulting instantly. People usually at this rating don't judge that fast if they have enough time to wait for an orb or if they really need to ultimate let's see if i'm going to get another ultimate opportunity and i need to use my ult instantly i don't have my orb to cover for it i have a ball behind i can get to him probably going to rest that so i'm going to try and save the mercy going to pre-heal the mercy a little bit ball went away ball's going to try to, try to touch point actually no ball's right side yeah he's over there on top can heal them up they can't even touch point this is a c9 easy clap over here, when you move, you can get headshotted here. So always be careful how you move. Like, don't move in a straight line. Stay behind your tanks. Look how I'm moving. Looking for a damage rope. The grip side. See the widow over there? I almost fucked up. Didn't take my own advice. Go right side. Play under the bridge. Play right side, right side, right side. One point. Asking for this. That's a TNT. When the TNT comes through on a squishy, you want to try and right click him. Like, there's going to be a lot of damage. Going to the killing orb over there. Moxie can try and dodge to me. See, I'm predicting where she's going to fly. Like, I'm not going to use it instantly. I'm not going to, like, heal where she is. I'm going to predict where she's going to go. We don't top. I can throw this. Mox is with her. Good angle over there. Can get to her. Doom should be fine. 1v2. Are we doing a Moxie? Was quite low. Getting the Lucio. Nah, she takes the bubble. If I go past the bubble, Winston will eventually kill me. He jumps some more stuff left. Okay, time for some Reddit. Moira, climb on top of this, climb on top of this. Hello, Winston. Climb on top of this. Not like this. I need fate. Winston still on top. Bring up the Doom. Or come to me. Moira used fate. Going to focus the Moira. The reason why I knew I could overextend like that over there is because they didn't have anything to hold me in place. Winston will just tickle me. Widow was looking at somebody else. So I could do more things. Waited for one second to see if the mines will catch me or not. So I'm not I wasn't going to rush it with the fate. Wait a little bit more. Try to get to the Doomfist. Killing them up. Widow just respawned, so I need to be careful. Yeah, so I'm going to drop like Widow respawned right now because we killed the Widow ugly. Waiting for Moira. 
to fade out. She's probably going to fade out left side. Yeah, she's left side healing herself up. I should have the advantage over here because we have like... Actually, I'm not even going to shoot her. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Getting closer to the last team fight. Waiting for Mara fade and then I'm going to tool. Actually, I'm going to tool now because we're all low. Trying to kill them up. Doomfist will try to get me over here. He can't do anything. Widow has wall hack, so I'm still hiding. And this is the first game. This is a tip that I want to talk about. Let's analyze what's going to happen. Everybody's alive. They have a lot of pressure. Use the mortality field, Moira ultimate, we're starting to get low and they're starting to push us back. I have my ultimate. Like I have my ultimate right now. And I have 3 seconds left until my orb is back. Right? And now, a lot of Moegas that don't play Moega that often would probably go like, you know what? I'm going to ult. And you're going to ult without even throwing a damage or a healing orb ban. But with experience, you can debate. Do I need my ultimate to heal up my team? No. It's still a big distance and everybody's like full HP, so to say. Kind of like full HP. Doomfist got one shot by Hanzo, nothing I can do there, just got headshotted. So I'm healing them up. I see the body shot from Hanzo coming through, like he's somewhere over here, I think. Wait, where is Hanzo? Oh, he's over here, right side? The fuck the sun? Okay, and now I have my orb, and I'm going to play slow motion, throw the damage orb in. I'm low on resource meter, throw the damage orb in, and ult. Damage orb, and ult. While faking at the same time, the Hansa probably expected me to walk to the point over here for cover, but I walked over here to the right side for cover. And then healed them up. A lot of Moegas, both high SR and low SR, would have ulted. I'm going to tell you when. Let me play this. Low on healing. The second they have the ult, they would ult right now. But you need to evaluate. Like right now they would ult, but you have 3 seconds and up until you have the damage rape, right? So... You can just wait it out, throw the damage ribbon, and then throw your ultimate. If all of your team would have been low, then ult instantly. If all of your team would have been low when you had your org ban, your healing org ban, your org both healing and damage, then you can try to throw healing orb and ultimate on your team to heal them up for a lot of bugs damage. But in this case, nobody was low when I ulted. So again, this is something for all the Moega is boring forehead. As a complicated part about Moega that you need to learn is if when you need to ult, if I have my ultimate, can I throw a damage orb in or a healing orb in, or do I need to ult without me throwing anything in? If nobody is um, waiting, like if there's no, if you're not under any threat. Then just wait for the damage rip to throw in. If you can wait out, because no, there's, you're not under pressure to throw your ultimate instantly. But the second you have your orb, your entire team is low, throw the healing orb, and then ultimate. And at the same time, the third option is if you don't have time, because you need mass healing and you're out of resource, like I'm going to remain out of resource here soon. And even if you remain out of resource, sometimes you might not need healing, because you have shields, you know, and they can't do anything. Then you would have ulted. You can just ult without using your orbs. It's also to take into consideration the enemy team comp. If they would have gone with the Lucio Moira instead of with the Bap Moira, I would have probably ulted instantly because they would have like speed boosted here, especially after get, they get a pick on to Doomfist. Like right now, they would probably just rush us and I would probably either be stone cold and try to wait for my orb and accept how much damage my team is going to take, or I'm just going to ultimate instantly. Also, when you ult, especially with targets that can one-shot, be aware. Like, I was, I did not know where Hanzo was. Again, it's the first game, so my awareness is not that high. I just know that I got hit from the right side. So, when I ult, I throw the damage rib in, and I try to get some cover, okay? Like, all I'm caring about is I know I got hit from somewhere around this region, so I'm trying to get some cover by just staying here. You know, like, I'm using this as cover, and as you can see, this is a very... Very advanced Moira thing, if you're an expert on Moira, you can make your ultimate disappear, it's like a magic trick, you know? For all the people that just start playing Moira, they expect to always see the ultimate. Well, if you're that advanced with Moira, you will sometimes, you'll sometimes have this bug, Blizzard knows, and you, will, you won't see anything. 
So ja. Kappa. See, I'm, con I I'm lifting the Ogis up, dude. I'm lifting them all up with my hands. Anyway, with, fu with Hutu Focus, one thing that I have ignored a little bit. You know that yesterday I talked about combos and what you can combo overall as ultimates? You can... Um, you can combo Sigma's ultimate with Moira's Coalescence. If Yorisa doesn't have pull, your Sigma has call, your Sigma has his ultimate, you can just use call. Who do you focus in this case, by the way? Because we had a discussion on who you focus with Moira's ultimate. You have a couple of options. The power of so. I'm just ulting for the Sigma, lift up. Right now you have these options. Okay, Moira is too far in the back for me to hit in this angle because I'm going to kite back. I can either focus the Orisa, the Hog, which I can't see from this angle, I think. And I will probably be able to focus the Reaper here. And right now, like, I need to decide either the Orisa or the Reaper. I focus the Reaper until I can force his Fade cooldown, as I talked yesterday. I'm not going to kill him, just force his Fade cooldown. Because if you focus the... Uh, if you focus the Orisa, when Orisa will drop with low HP, she'll probably die anyway. But if you focus the Reaper and force his cooldown, Orisa will die anyway, and Reaper won't have his shift. Wow. Yeah, like, you will force this off him. So he drops, the second he drops, I, if I remember correctly, I saw Hog a little bit, and I decided... Surrender who's full HP, who's low HP? Like, who can I kill? You need to think, after they drop, they take 50% of their max HP, so like half of their meter. Right now, I see that Hog's like full HP and I immediately swap to Orisa. You can also kill them before they even drop, because sometimes you don't have anything else to hit. Also, you might not you might not know how much burst healing they have. So they might survive eventually. It's better to like, if you don't have anybody else to hit, then just kill the one that you can kill in that. But in general, you with Moira's Coalescence, if you can't target somebody to kill instantly, as in let's say you're solo you're killing a McCree out of position or you're killing a uh, Moira with no fade, you can try to use your coalescence to force the enemy to use abilities. Reaper fade, uh, Orisa fortify, Hog vape, Reaper shift, you know, stuff like that.